Well, as you can see, there seems to be a Chevy and a Ford sitting side by side. Now, I know they're not supposed to co-mingle, but that's what happens. This is the end of the story about a uh, couple of lemons that Bobby and I had. Bobby's over here. Come over closer, Bobby. Right there. There. There's Bobby. Let's see. You had one that gave you all kinds of problems. All sorts of problems. Speak louder. All kinds of problems. Uh, yeah. The uh, Some electrical, some mechanical, mostly electrical. And there's a story about it up here in the, the header somewhere. I had a Chevrolet 2020 that basically sucked. And yours wasn't sucked even as it wasn't far behind. Right. But we ended up going two different ways. Now Bobby ended up trading his in after he had a lawyer and a buyback number from Chevrolet and they ran him around on that. He got tired of it and he finally just went and traded out. Yeah. You, you pulled in, you was driving by a Ford just dealer? Just driving by the local Ford dealer here and saw two of these sitting side by side, liked the color, stopped kind of just to check on pricing, see about what they were going for. And they reeled me in, great deal. Gave me a good deal on buying mine out from under me, trade in, gave me a good price on this truck, and I took it home the next morning. Well, I kind of went a different way. I didn't get a lawyer involved. It was almost to that point. I ended up taking it to another dealer, Lone Star Chevy in Houston, and they worked and worked on it, and basically they couldn't find anything wrong, and I was leaving the dealer after they had to replace a set of brakes on that truck. I never replaced brakes. That's what finally was the last straw. When at 30,000 miles, I had to replace the whole brake system. So, as I was driving away, I heard this ad for Lone Star Chevy. It said, my name's Johnny Smith. Customer satisfaction is my goal. Come see me. I turned that truck around so fast, I nearly got a whiplash. <laughs> Walked in the office and said, where's Johnny Smith? Johnny Smith was in his office. He sat me down and I gave him my sad story. Long story short, I ended up driving this 2021 home about three hours later. They got it ready and, and this was during COVID when you couldn't find trucks. This luckily that truck was almost identical to the one my 2020 and uh, I was at about three thousand dollars and a whole lot of pain and misery and worrying and and lost time driving around with that other truck but this is number 17 for Chevy for me in my lifetime I've had 17 pickups they've all been pretty doggone good the 2020 was the first lemon I'd ever had. So people call me a fool for not buying a Toyota or a Honda. Well, they don't do what I need to do. They're not big enough. They're not diesel engines. They can't pull enough. I need a truck. Honda, Toyota, get your act together. Make a diesel truck that's big enough for us in America. Yeah. That's... My Nissan problem. did. I don't think they do anymore. Nissan did, did for a while with the Cummins, and it was, from what I hear, is a really well, good truck. Well, I but, bought what I could buy right, on the exactly, market, yeah. and that was it. But I gave them another shot, mainly because Lone Star Chevrolet took care of me. The other dealers didn't, but Lone Star did. So I went with Chevy while you went with Ford. Right. Now, for me, it's almost a year, a little bit under a year since I made the switch. You've been about 18, 18 months? 18 months this week, yeah. Year and a half. And are you happy with your Ford? 100%. 100%. No problems with it. Never leaves me hanging. Any little issue I have, they get right on it. I take it back to the dealership that I bought it at local to uh, oil changes, anything. I mean, Johnny on the spot. Did, did, did you have any major problems? 
No, nothing major. Um, the the brakes, which I just realized it was probably due to my driving, but the brakes were getting pretty fa fatigued, so I changed them out myself. And how many uh, miles do you have on it? 59,000. 59,000. Yeah, so almost 60,000 miles at the brake job I just okay. did this week. So And, and tires, first set of tires. Did you put a new set of tires on yeah, it? first set of tires. They lasted 60,000, yeah. And that's been... Yeah, that, that's it. You, you nope. said something about a wheel bearing? Uh, wheel bearings possibly making a noise right now and just left the dealership today and they're going to replace them both tomorrow morning under warranty that's pretty good no questions i haven't been back to the dealer i've got thirty six thousand something it's just out of the thirty six uh, thousand mile warranty the the five year fifty thousand mile they don't mean anything to me right we go through them so fast yeah true. but uh I just put a new set of Michelin tires on it. The tires that came from the factory were junk. I had nine flats. The rubber was so soft. Always had to get them rebalanced. I had Michelins on here too. Never one problem, never a flat. Yeah. Never, they rotated them every oil change and they were just, I got 60,000 miles out of them. They were pretty pretty well worn in my opinion. So the, 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 the ones that came on it were good years. Oh, I had Michelin. Yeah. And so I went back with Michelins you know when i sold my dually i thought i was getting out on tires easy with all the price of heck it was seventeen hundred dollars for four tires i know I it's right it's there. it's expensive but my truck has never been back to the dealer for any problem and the only thing that is wrong with it right now is the passenger side window won't open from the driver's side because when they broke into my truck, they shattered glass and got glass under there. So, I'm happy. The dealership told me that uh, I bought this truck and then two weeks later they called telling me my plates were in. So I went to pick them up and the salesman told me that they didn't have my truck on the lot for two and a half hours and someone came in and bought it. It hadn't even gone through make ready yet. Your other truck? other truck? And I was like, good luck, buddy. I mean, as long as they know the problem. Yeah, it still had 9,000 miles of dealers or GM warranty coverage on it. Yeah. You know. Well, I have a tire monitor, or excuse me, a, a brake monitor. It says I still have 90 percent uh, of my brakes left. You all must obviously drive like a bat out of hell. <laughs> yeah, probably so. Do you ever hear of coasting? <laughs> yeah, every now and again, or downshift. To do <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. Well, I'm happy that you're happy. Yeah, I'm happy. I mean, it's a it's a nice truck. I don't hear, and I, I was always a GM guy. The last five new trucks I bought were all GMC from the same dealership, the same salesman. I mean, like, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, and and it was out of his hands personally, and I get that. You know, once it goes to a corporate issue, then it wasn't his problem. But um, the people at the dealership, they honestly did try they, what they could, but GM was just. They didn't help me anything. underwater. They weren't going to budge. They weren't going to help. And so they lost a lifelong customer. Uh, probably so. Yeah, I hate to say it, but Team Elliott Ford here in Navasota, jam up. I mean, from the price of the truck, everything about it, all the service work. Every, I mean, honestly, it's first name basis. I can call on the phone and they'll answer the phone and they recognize my name. No lie. I mean, not that I do that much business. But they're just they're just a hometown dealership. They just deal with people. Um, you know, it's, it's a, well, it's a you I'll drive out of the way to come here for an oil change. I could go anywhere. Yeah. I drive all the way back to the dealership. I'd rather give them the money because they're taking care of it. Well, they also, <clears throat> you went in yesterday with your concern about the wheel bearing and they're going to fix it tomorrow. Yep. And the steering wheel, my steering wheel, the leather wheel had some, and probably from my hands, just like wear and tear marks on it. And they go, no, that's under warranty. We're going to put a new one of those on there today. They replaced the steering wheel, brand new. Under warranty. I mean, like I said, they're on top of things. They said it should last lasted longer. Well. So, I mean. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's real good. Yeah. Uh, I'm not knocking the big city dealers, but small well, country dealer, they. I went to a small country dealer up in College Station. Gave me the run around and run mm -hmm. around and run around. And I bought two or three cars and trucks from them. I got the shaft. Yeah. Went to a big city dealer and knew what they were doing and life was good. Right. Anyway, I'm glad you're happy. I'm happy. Short update. I guess it doesn't matter which truck you buy. It's the people behind the truck. Exactly. So.
Good. I still think mine looks better than yours. <laughs> Thanks for watching.